This example says that the width of a rectangle is 4 inches less than its length. If the area is 12 square inches, find the dimensions. Okay, so note that there is no picture given with this problem, but certainly it's easier to solve with a picture. So every time you get something like this, where it's talking about a rectangle but no rectangle is given, you have to draw your own picture, right? And that goes from here all the way up well into calculus and beyond. Anytime you can draw a picture, you should draw a picture. So let's draw our picture, All right? So I know it's a rectangle, okay? And it gives us some more information. It says that the width is four inches less than the length, okay? So usually length is the longer side, so I'm gonna just kinda call that x. We don't know what x is, but it, now it says that the width is four inches less than. So these words less than mean minus, right? So the width is width is means equals 4 less than the length, x minus 4. Length minus 4 gives us the width because we decided x was the length. All right, and now it says area is 12 square inches. Well, recall that area is length times width, right? And they tell us that that is 12 inches squared. So if you don't have this formula memorized, that's probably one that you should have memorized at this point. You should have area of a rectangle and also perimeter of a rectangle set to memory. It's just something that comes up enough, even in life, you know, outside of math classes, that you want to have those on a quick recall. Okay, so let's do it. So we have length times width. So x times x minus 4 equals, it tells us that that's 12. Finally, we have an equation that we can solve. Anytime you have an equation with x squared in it, you want to get zero on the other side of the equal sign. Here it's a little hard to tell that we have x squared, but indeed we do have an x squared right there. So let's work towards getting that zero on the other side of the equal sign. Distributing this x through gives us x squared minus 4x equals 12. And now to get that zero, we can subtract 12 from both sides to get x squared minus 4x minus 12 equals zero. All right. This one factors, so here we go. Here's our C term, here's our B term, and we want to find factors of C that add up to B. So I'm looking for ways to factor negative 12 that add to negative 4. How about that? Okay, so how about, hmm, I'm thinking 6 and 2 look good. Let's do minus 6 plus 2. Note that when we multiply those together, we get negative 12. When we add these two together, we get negative 4. Thus, this is the factored form of that equation, equals 0. And now we set each one of these equal to 0 from the 0 factor property and solve. So that gives us x equals 6, x equals negative 2. All right. Well, what is x again? x is the length, right? So unless we're doing some weird bending of space-time stuff, we're working with vectors, we don't have negative distances. So let's throw that out. We can't have a negative answer in this context. Well, there we go. Our only answer left is x equals 6. But the problem asks for the dimensions, right? It doesn't ask for just x. So the, a good answer for this might look like this, OK? Length. OK, we decided that was already x or let's just let's just write the length in here six um, we're working in inches so you always want to label your word problems okay and width okay well the width is x minus four x is six so six minus four gives us two inches there we go from 6 minus 4 equals 2. And there we have it. Don't be intimidated by word problems. Draw a picture and work off the picture. Take your time with it. They're not as bad as they seem.